So as you add that to your kingdom gold, the treasury, barkeep takes care of him before he leaves. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. He looks back at you guys, shoots you an angry glance, and walks out the door. Should I go tend to him, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid? No. Okay. Can anybody cast a large person? I hate to lose a short shit. I can. <laughs> <laughs> we can have more interesting though. I keep it around for special wizard occasions. Pop out the cold one. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what's the crowd's reaction to uh, the giant that comes stalking in with us? He uh, he splits off from you guys. He starts going around the town, and apparently one of the local guards kind of shows him some of the things, because first off, it's a hill giant traveling with you guys. That's a tree. That's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> that way. Well, okay. There goes a cat. Ooh. About three minutes later... You might want to talk to a Scott dwarf and comes in the end <laughs> where you guys are at, and he sits um, down. I, I had to find Pop Little Mud's cover. Okay. Grungy sits at the table with you guys. A giant? You had to go get a giant to test my material? What? Uh, who are you, sir? Grungy! I'm the town brewer! <laughs> and? He looks so lonely sitting there by himself. He was thirsty. Do you, do, do, do you understand? Dwarves don't typically get along with the tall folk. Well, well stop being a racist. You have us here. Okay. We can stab Commonality happens when drinks are had. Commonality always happens when drinks are had. <laughs> yeah, it is the way of Kate and Kate. <laughs> Make a diplomacy check. <laughs> <laughs> Not <Dad> 20. <laughs> <laughs> you made the dwarf see the light. <laughs> giant is the bottom of the cup. <laughs> I love giants now. No, it's um, he's a drunk. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, boo -boo, let's go grab As you oh. inform the dwarf this, he says, "Fine, but you know what? If I'm going to be working for you guys." and doing what I do and getting this town politely inebriated or somewhat <laughs> justifiably intoxicated or even reasonably insensible. What I ask, <laughs> what I ask is that you guys up my pay just a little bit because we're going to be going out a little more on the alcohol tab than what we were. Okay, how about this? You put him to work for you. Bouncer. Teach him the trade. Teach him how to do it and have him work with you. Mungunk. Enters the inn as you guys are talking about this, by the way. This is where you are. Hi. <clears throat> I'm a tiger. Grungy, grungy <laughs> the innkeeper looks at the giant and he puts together a couple of benches for him to sit. Obviously, you can link the white it yourself. You're a dwarf, obviously, I know this. And you're, you're good at lifting heavy objects. Don't get me wrong. But he, he can reach the top he, shelf. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That, you can probably lift heavier objects than you can. As well. On the top shelf. <laughs> Mungunk wants to stay. Met Brewer. Dwarf. Dwarf! Dwarf, dwarf. And unfortunately. So, Mungunk, would you be willing to put yourself to work around here and return for much drinks? No tentacle monster, right? <laughs> no. Uh, brothel no. Been, the brothel has been built yet. <laughs> he gets a worried look. <laughs> what do you mean, brothel not built yet? Well, you were worrying about tentacles. Monk, no need tentacles for so, brothel. No, that's <laughs> It's for the women that work at the so brothel. When they have tentacles. When we built this, on crafts, one of the two. Our game has just gone from Kingmaker to Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> so when we build this place, are we going to call it the Sexy Aberration? Or? <laughs> no. We built the city of Rock Campbell. No, we're going to call it Crabs. Sexy Aberration. We're going to call it Joe's Crabs. That's 
Yeah. Eat at Joe's. Gotta burn one side and shave the other. No, that only happened to Kevin's character in the Serenity campaign. Almost got him to spit. It was just a serenity campaign. It's all good. For, for, uh, We're trying to get people to cough up their liquids. <laughs> for, every, for every half and half or whatever you want, you get a free tarp. So when you sit down at home, the crabs don't spray. It's a tarp. Do you have your do you, do you have do you have your crabs trained not to go off the tarp? <laughs> well, I don't know about your crabs, but I mean I've always read in books. It's called a crab circus. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he, he, he's training them to run the top. The, the I top am wire. not. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, we're talking about crabs, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> right, <let's see. laughs> Our crabs? Oh. Is it to eat or sit on my crabs? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Say yeah. between the crotch crickets. I finally got off my ass and made some uh, ducks over the weekend. Oh yeah. Oh. Wait. 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 And then you can have beer and pizza oh, rules. Saturday at 8 said you can have beer and pancakes. Alright, so now that Mungunk seems to be happy and Grungy yeah. seems to be well, less than happy, less than no, but still am amenable, <laughs> he's, he's, he's at least going to say, I fine, I will, I will make more beer. You guys have upped my rates and you will help me with what I'm looking for, i.e. materials. Because if I'm going to be hiring him on, I know we're going to be going a little more on this. We have to. He's going to drink probably two gallons of this stuff a day. Okay, okay so he drinks as much as the dwarf. No. <laughs> He'll probably drink a little more. <laughs> Not by much. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a dwarf, we'd definitely be sober. Just a half a gallon more. Oh, God. <laughs> he carried a bag of holding with, like, you know, like barrels in it here. Grab me one way. Grab me one way. Yeah, no. there, there is a way you can actually worse. seriously oh, top God. out the amount of alcohol that, that you can burn. take, and the beer bong will do it. Uh -huh. I know this because I did not finish the bong. Yeah. I would call it. <laughs> that was a fun night. <laughs> I want to hook him up with a tank stand, because that's not yeah, a problem. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this was, yeah. Okay. So the person on. like fell on their face while they were Moving on. So we like down and they're like, what? Well, talking with each other. Not really talking. <laughs> Grungy more or less ordering him how to get things done, and so they leave the bar. Well, help in one piece. Yay, now I can have one piece. Well, starting the label coalition. I see it coalition. ending one of two ways. Either A, Grungy will pick up an axe and try to lodge it in Mogunk's skull, or B, Mogunk will drop a drop keg a on his head. I was pretty damn convincing, but no. <laughs> I was pretty damn convincing, but I don't think he's going to choke that. Yeah, for a while. They'll get along. For a while. Not today. For now. Well, make up a priest to keep uh, Mangongo's cup filled, and you know, it won't be an issue. Mongo? Mongo. Alright. Hey, it's Tom's complaint. We got Tom drunk. <laughs>